That's a, a funny question, which we may uh, answer in many ways. Of course, there is no last number. But uh, even that, a child may understand it, that is a remarkable statement. Think about it. There is no last number. How can we arrive at such a statement? It requires really some, some logical thinking. And it was part of the um, logical constructions at the beginning of the 20th century when logicians like Russell, like uh, uh, Whitehead, like Cantor put together set theory as a foundation of mathematics. They insisted on the number as something such that there is always a successor. That's part of the axiom. And if you think about numbers, um, it is a way to count the number of things, but it's also a sequence. One, two, three, four. And by definition, the sequence will never stop. That is the modern way of saying it. That is a very strong statement. A lot of progress in mathematics comes from changing something that we see as a fact into something that is taken as an axiom, as a definition. And we can see as a fact that we never seen any number, which is the last, and we, uh, we saw that uh, once we see two, three uh, thousand uh, million uh, entities or something. And then it takes really a leap in the concept to say we can always add one into two numbers. And it's all the more surprising when you realize that there is a last number so far. I mean, in all the numbers which have been written by mankind, since mankind can count, there has to be one number which is the biggest that was ever, ever written. Either the biggest written like sequentially, but also the biggest written in symbolic language, maybe with many factorials for those who know. These numbers, uh, the, the, the biggest of these numbers is something beyond any imagination, way, way, way larger than the number of uh, atoms in the universe, way, way, way larger than the w number of ways to permute the atoms in the universe. So it's a number that is uh, just out of our world. And even that number, which is the biggest that mankind has ever written, is not the last one in terms of the great abstract uh, mathematical construction which we imagine as something we are visiting rather than constructing ourselves. At least that is the dominant view.